Well, Bungie just dropped a big update on build crafting in Lightfall. I thought this was going to be a day later, but they dedicated a full article to this, so we have a lot to discuss. A lot of good changes, though. First up, loadouts. Loadouts are coming to Destiny. We knew this from a while back, but it looks like we have some slight updates here. We're going to have up to 10 slots available to us. I'm assuming per character, but it wasn't clarified. Based on your Guardian rank. So the more you level your Guardian rank, the more slots you are going to get. Pretty good incentive for doing your Guardian ranks. They're going to have different colors, icons, so you'll be able to differentiate between your loadouts very easily. I am not shocked by this at all. This should have been a given, so okay, cool. And that's really all they give on loadouts. Not really too much we didn't know already. But now we have mods. There's going to be a new mod customization screen to see how everything is affecting your character from one screen versus having to look at each armor piece individually. You'll be able to switch your weapons from this armor screen so you don't have to switch back to your character menu and then back to weapons and then back to character and then back to armor. It's all just one screen switching. Earning mods is changing a little bit. All mods will be unlocked by hitting Guardian Rank 6. However, most players who have played the game in some capacity, or most active players, I guess, should have enough things completed that when Guardian Ranks roll out, you'll already be Rank 6. So all of the mods should be unlocked right away. If you're not Rank 6, then you're just going to need to get to Rank 6 to unlock all of the mods, which, again, doesn't seem like it'll be that hard to do if you are an active player. New players are going to start at Rank 1. So if you're playing the game a lot right now, you should see no difference in terms of the mods that become available to you when Lightfall hits. Next, mod energy types are being removed. There are some mods in the game that you can only equip with certain elemental affinities. That is gone. Armor elements are gone, starting in Lightfall. The combat style mod socket is being turned into an additional mod socket for that armor slot, and Bungie is reducing the cost of those mods to give more chances to build craft to your liking. Armor mods that used to give benefits to weapons based on their type, like pulse rifle loader, sniper targeting, now give those benefits to the damage type, so kinetic, energy, etc., which opens up your weapon loadouts a bit more without being penalized if you couldn't cram all of the mods into your armor. What about artifact mods? Well, unfortunately, we're going back to only being able to unlock 12 of them again, but artifact mods are being translated to unlockable perks. They don't need to be socketed. They are just passively applied to your loadout for the season. Bungie is also making resetting the artifact completely free, so no more glimmer costs. You can change whenever you want. So passively applied, let's go over what that means. Bungie gives the example of anti-barrier pulse rifle. If you unlock anti-barrier pulse rifle in your artifact, then all of your pulse rifles, unless they already have an intrinsic anti-champion capability on them, will have anti-barrier for the entire season as long as that perk is unlocked. There is no mod to equip. You get to keep that slot open for other gauntlet mods instead. This is why we're going back to only having 12 mods. Being able to unlock the entire artifact would be a bit insane and impossible to balance. But again, it's free to reset, so you can just swap around whatever you want, whenever you want. But what about Artifice Armor? The armor that gets you an extra seasonal mod slot. Well, starting in Lightfall, quote, Artifice Armor will have a new, unique mod slot that grants three additional points to your character's stats like strength, agility, mobility, not agility, intellect, etc. This will help you round out your stats as you perfect your builds, end quote. I'm assuming this means that you'll have the ability to put a plus three stat mod into this slot. So if you're stuck at 77, I don't know, discipline, bam, you throw a plus three discipline in that slot and you're good to go. Now, I've historically said that I think Artifice Armor is a waste of time for 99% of the community. And while you're still only going to be able to eke out another 1.5 tiers of stats from a full set of Artifice Armor, I'll probably be encouraging farming Artifice Armor a bit more now than I previously was. It's not a game changer. It's along the lines of adept weapons or enhanced perks, but it's still a bump nonetheless if you want it. Let's move to gameplay. Match game is being removed from high level activities 
and Bungie is changing damage against these kinds of shields. Base shield resistance to non-matching damage types across the whole game is being switched to 50%, but Bungie has ways for us to deal bonus damage to shields that they will talk about later. With Bungie pushing people towards build crafting with all of the same element to deal tons of damage, this change makes sense because Match Game broke that style of build crafting incredibly quickly. Next up, champions. We're still gonna have anti-champion artifact stuff. That's not going away. But Bungie wanted to introduce different ways of countering champions, so they're adding anti-champion stuff to subclasses. Starting with anti-barrier, volatile rounds will have anti-barrier capabilities. Being radiant gives your weapons anti-barrier capabilities, and strand is gonna have something for anti-barrier as well. For overload, triggering the jolted condition stuns an overload champion. Suppressing the overload will stun the champion, along with slowing them via stasis. Unstoppables can be blinded to stun them, encasing them in stasis and shattering them will stun. Triggering a solar ignition on the champion will stun, and Strand will also have something for unstoppables. Back to mods, the combat style mod slot. It's going away, as I said. This means that combat style mods need a new home. They are being revamped under the armor charge system and are moved to armor slot specific sockets. Here's how it works, and I am just going to read this verbatim. Socketing an armor mod that uses the armor charge system gives you access to the system. The functionality of taking charge, which is picking up an orb of power to gain one stack of charge with light, is now granted to you whenever you have any armor charge mod equipped. Many mods that previously created elemental wells or gave you stacks of charged with light have been converted to instead create an orb of power. You can now hold between zero and three stacks of armor charge by default, which appears as a buff in the status effects area. By socketing chest armor mods like charged up, you can increase your maximum number of armor charge stacks as high as six. Some mods provide a passive ongoing benefit while you have any stacks of armor charge. When you have one of these armor mods equipped, every 10 seconds, a stack of armor charge falls off if not consumed by something else. Players can extend this decay time by socketing the extended charge mod in the class item socket. For example, Font of Wisdom in the head socket will provide a bonus gain to intellect while you have any armor charge active. Some mods consume one, two, three, or all stacks of armor charge on a particular trigger, granting you an instantaneous benefit when they do. A few other mods, stacks on stacks in the leg socket, powerful friends and radiant light in the head socket, time dilation in the class item socket, etc., can modify the armor charge system for you without providing you a specific benefit while you have armor charge. And finally, finishers will now consume armor charges and not dip into your super energy. So, I know there's a lot there, and it's probably just word vomit right now, but when Lightfall drops, we'll probably be going over this in more detail, and or I will have build videos that will better explain exactly what's happening. But in short, pick up Orbs of Light to get Armor Charge as long as you have an Armor Charge mod equipped. Then, have Armor Charge consuming mods equipped in order to use those charges. Mods that benefit from just having any charge on you will decay your charge over time, whereas it seems like stuff that has a specific trigger will not cause any decay. I can't confirm that right now, but that's my speculation. Stuff like Elemental Ordnance, where a grenade kill would make you an Elemental Well, for example, now will make an Orb of Light. However, not all parts of Elemental Wells are going away. Instead of making wells, each subclass now makes the following. Ionic Traces for Arc, Fire Sprite for Solar, Void Breaches for Void, Stasis Shards are still being used for Stasis, and then Strand is going to have a thing. The ability to spawn these is dictated by your subclass. The example Bungie gives is Ember of Tempering on Solar Hunters. You'll make a Fire Sprite whenever you kill something with a Solar Weapon. I'm assuming there's some sort of internal cooldown on that effect. I don't know. Picking these up will give you some sort of an effect based on your subclass. The new fragment, Ember of Mercy, will give you restoration if you pick up a Fire Sprite. For example, picking up any one of these things will give ability energy. Things are gonna be pretty limited at launch, but Bungie plans on developing on this system over the year. 
Bungie then puts in the we need to balance all of this somehow disclaimer saying that some stuff is going to get moved around, some stuff is being consolidated, some stuff is moving to subclasses or abilities or is just straight up being removed. Some things are getting nerfed, stat benefits, damage bonuses getting reduced. So not everything we have right now will be able to be replicated one-to-one -one when the new system launches. Similar feelings to how subclass 3.0 kind of rolled out. We have had some of the biggest jumps in power creep that we've ever had over the past year, so I don't blame Bungie for trying to temper expectations and for trying to ease power creep. Sadly, one of those things getting removed are Warmind Cells. Warmind Cells are on the chopping block. Warmind Cells will not be coming forward into the Lightfall era, and as of Season 20, will be deprecated, so enjoy your last month or so with Warmind Cells. They just don't really fit in with the direction Bungie is going in with the combat-style mod situation. That is everything. Those are all of the changes. Uh, I don't have too much to say on the matter, because there are just so many changes coming that it feels impossible to really even speculate without knowing a lot of information like where certain mods are going to land what kind of seasonal mods are we going to be getting how does the new combat style mod system actually feel in game it's very different looking at stuff on paper than it does when playing the actual game and lord knows that the community has overreacted to changes that didn't end up being a big deal when actually implemented in the game so, at the moment, I'm going to reserve judgment until Lightfall, and then we can talk about it at length once we've actually gotten to play with all of this stuff. There are definitely going to be some things that are nerfed compared to how they are now. I'm guessing a lot of the armor charge stuff will be potentially reducing the power of some builds that exist right now to kind of rein things in and balance things out. But there are some absolutely good things in here by default. Removing elements from armor had to be a top five quality of life request from the community during the past year, if not longer than that. However, I understand that removing elements on armor with how things are right now versus removing elements with this new system is not exactly what people had in mind. Better ways of dealing with champions, that's another good change, making it so anti-champion mods didn't take up space in your armor, another good change. People hated match game, boom, that's gone. I would say that I would miss Warmind Cells, but after they got nerfed, I did not touch them until this season when we got better weapons to actually generate them in the first place. Part of me is gonna miss them for sure though, kind of an end of an era situation. But I, I think that's all I got for the time being. I'm glad Bungie is continuing to refine things, shake things up. This is hopefully going to introduce some new builds or ways of building that we haven't had in the game before. It was pretty obvious that a change was going to happen at some point or another. And I'm pretty excited for these changes to hit the game. Most things at the least look interesting. I'm sure there are some things that I'm overlooking or underestimating. But without having stuff to actually tinker with, it's tough to tell how everything is going to pan out. I'm probably going to be holding off on build videos for the time being, unless I can put something together really quickly, because anything that I make right now is going to become irrelevant in Lightfall, and I would rather just wait. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments about all this. I think it looks pretty good, or again, interesting at the least, but I understand it's, it's a lot to take in, so let you kind of digest it, and you guys let me know how you're feeling about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.